Hacksnet. We are playing Hacksaw Lead Skills. Of course, my name is Twitchy, and we have just completed a successful contract for CSEC. But then we received this email. Hey, so this is a bit unorthodox, but I pulled some strings. You'll be the one that did the big contract before, looking for what happened there. And it, as it turns out, yes, we were the guy who did the bit contract before. Bit being the guy that was, sorry, the guy is a little sexist there. Bit being the hacking entity that has just disappeared and was also the, the 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 hacking entity that sent me a message at the beginning of this particular journey we have been on i'm after some more information and i wanted to contact the the same person on it if you're getting this it means you've finished your assigned contract so we're good to go to be frank and let's be honest who doesn't like being frank the term pulling strings with csec isn't something you really you use lightly in this case even more so you got results fast and i want you on this case too more collaboratively this time. If I sound confident you'll want to join in here, I've got good reason for it. Because it's the storyline. There's very, there's a very substantial incentive waiting for you on the CSEC asset server. Look for trace kill and decrypt with the password. Oh, this thing. Go and copy it. Reply back. As always, the admins are paranoid about their security, so it'll be... <laughs> Excuse me. So I'll be an anonymously rooted through their system to me. Whatever. Just reply here when you're ready, and I'll let you know what's next. Yes! Okay, so let's go over to the CSEC ASIC server. Let's, uh... Oh, uh, do I have a login? I do have a login. All right, cool. Let's, um, let's get into there. I want to have a look at the file system, and we are, of course, looking for bin... Oh, I can't remember exactly where it said. Does it show me in here? It doesn't... Okay, all right. Well, we'll just go through and click a few things here, shall we? Tracekill.deck. Uh, now, was it just the one we wanted? I think it was just the one we wanted. SCP trace kill. Let's let's just grab that. Does not ex of course because there's like many. So let's do that, and that should copy it across for us. Then that was that was all I need. Now, obviously, being um, uh, an admin here, we could we can just go RM star and get rid of all traces that we have been here before. That's what we want to do. Now we need to come into the file system and decrypt the thing that we have just got. So we've got the dot deck. Where is it? Oh, has it gone to my home here? Uh, there we go. Trace kill. Now, if I remember, was it decrypt or decipher? It's decipher. The man with the plan. Uh, trace kill. Uh, and then, do we put the password at the end? I can't remember. Uh, password. The file requires a password. Did I write down what the password was? No, of course I didn't. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, that's the contract hub. We want Jmail, which is somewhere else. Ah, up here. Um, Bit foundation. DX, tw uh, can I can I add this to a note because I will never remember it off the top of my head. One two two. Is that only two twos? That is only two twos. Capital DX. Okay, but literally just going to pop that there and let's go back home. Uh, that home. Uh, view file system home. Uh, somewhere up here we've got this and then we can just put this password in dx122 capital dx see i've already written it down so it's stuck in my brain now but if i hadn't put it on the notes then i wouldn't have been able to do that let's just sit back and wait make sure that is right before i go and delete that password okay that's cool that is awesome and any other good words that i can think of sweet T is good. T is good. Okay, so we have got ourselves a new piece of system hardware here. Oh, well, not system hardware. There we go. We want to move this trace kill. How do I move the trace kill to my bin folder? Uh, SCP trace kill dot exe uh, to slash bin, right? Okay, so that, that should have done it, yeah? Is that, that is the thing that we did. Okay, cool. I'm going to just delete all these logs. It's always good just to go through every now and then and make sure you have deleted everything. And I'm just looking through here. Is there anything I actually want to keep? I want to keep notes, but beyond that, I'm not... Oh, hey, do you mind? Beyond that, I'm not sure that I actually want anything here. So I'm going to go through and delete a few things here as well. Okay, so we have trace kill in our box here. Here. We should be able to go over, come here, reply. And what are we going to say? We're going to say deciphered. Yes, of course it has been deciphered. Brilliant. Cool. Bit substantiation. Trace kill, as the name suggests, diverts active traces against you whilst it's running. It should make your work a lot easier. Oh, I hope so. It sounds like it. So let's begin, shall we? Everyone had a drink? Everyone ready for this? I've done some digging. After the last set, you saw the message too. He knew what was going on. Anyway, the idea that whatever happened was linked to his work was enough to start with. I did some tracking and ended up with bits of... 
with a bit of a list of his server and relays. Can't know how many of them there are, just virtual boxes running off the same machine, but it's a good start. The most promising one is linked at the end of this. It's a personal work server, something he was using privately, host uh, to, to privately host copies of the version control repositories he was working on. Apparently, I mean, like you know. Why didn't he use GitHub? You know, uh, This itself might be a clue. Who keeps backups of a corporate VC solution? Only three cases I can think of. Either you're responsible if they F it up and you're surrounded by incompetence and you want to be sure. You need your backups and logs for legal reasons or you're worried about something and want records in case something goes down. Whatever the case, this seems like the... Like, the like, this seems like the likely place to start digging. Want to take a look? I have had a poke around, but didn't turn anything up substantial. Can't decrypt the repo dumps. Let me know if you find anything. I'll send the IP over. No, no, send the IP over of anything strange you dig up. Okay, cool. I didn't see where that one appeared. This one here, let's go and have a look. Hey there! Bitwise. We're going to probe you a bit. I hope you don't mind. So we're going to have a proxy done, so let's... No, no, no. I want to overload, not trap. Okay, so now if I do trace kill, right? Trace kill, boom. What happens? Error. Insufficient memory. Trace kill. Insufficient memory. Okay, let's turn down my... Ah, okay. So it literally takes almost all my memory. I turned my shell off, and I'm not overly keen on that. And it's still using all... Mm, okay, this is awkward. So you can see it's using all my my resources to suspend the trace, but then I can't get in and do other stuff. How do I upgrade my RAM? This must be a thing I can do, right? We don't. Oh, that's not the one I want. I want web. Uh, Eighty. Like, can I even fit this in? We've put, bypassed the proxy. Insufficient memory. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this then. We're going to have to go through and put as many of these in as we can um, and just hope that by the time we're done, we can still do the trace kill. Watching for things to finish. Insufficient memory. There you go. It's gone. That's good. Uh, did we have mail? Is this the thing? No, uh, SMT was the... No, and that SMT was the way that it was worded. 25. Do we have the uh, memory for this? We don't, but if we just wait for that... Bam! Power! Power to the RAM people. Power to the RAM. Not the RAM people. I mean, that would be a bit weird. Uh, trace kill. Can we run this again once we get in there? Once all this hacking software has been run, then I don't see any reason for us to do anything else. Can't do that. Of course we can't do that. Um, port hack. Let's, let's get that running at the same time. I like the fact that it allows me to run those both at the same time. And there we go. Trace kill. No, come on. Trace kill. I know you got your password found. Don't make me disconnect. Oh, that was close. That was close. Two, two seconds left to go. Let's have a look at the file system, shall we? Home. Work. Uh, that one. Okay, so SCP HH. No. Oh, HN, sorry. Totally misread that. So let's nab that and go home. Uh, is there anything else we're going to have to get? I could probably have decrypted it right there, really, couldn't we? Should we, should we try decrypting it right here? Um, decipher, right? De decipher uh, HN, that one. Uh, insufficient memory. Okay, so I transferred it home. That's fine. Let, let's go RM star, get rid of all the logs. I don't know who's going to trace us, actually. This is, this is a, a completely different type of um, type of job that we're on here. Okay, I'm just going to decrypt DC. Okay, we're good. We're disconnected. We've got the file back at home. That is the important thing here. I don't think anybody's chase tracing me. So let's have a look at my file system here. This one. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a lot of file systems. Um, are we going to be able to find ourselves anything to help decipher this? I don't know. Okay, we're, we're having a look. We're reading. It's going to ask for a password, right? Yeah. Where else could we possibly find information about Bitwise? Is there a standard password we've used up to now? If I thought we have, I've not figured out what it is. I wonder what HN is supposed to be. Bitwise Relay. Let's go and have a look in here. Can we just log in? I don't have a password. Um, we're probably going to have to probe then. I don't know what we're going to find here. But I'm going to go look. I'm going to go look. One, four, three, three. 
Hopefully no trace is going to start with this. It's not. That's good. It's just a relay server, so we, we should be able to get a lot of stuff running straight away. Uh, what do we want here? 21. Oh, man. Just, just got to let all these programs run. This is the thing here. Just got to let them all run. Okay, in with the port hack here. Let's have a look at the file system. Just seeing if there's anything homebase.txt. If you're looking for this, you run into, uh, you're looking to get in contact with me. Throw a file on my drop server. I check it occasionally. Like we've been there before, though, right? I think we have. Uh, I'm not going to connect straight away. Man, this is going to be here somewhere that we've already been to. I'm fairly sure. Can't can't see much of those. There, repo base. That's a different different place, though. Uh, test PC drop server is that the one we wanted to go to okay so there's nothing nothing in here that we're really looking for right no is this all me yes this is all me okay that's that's fine that's uh, RM star we didn't find anything at this particular place just looking for any bitwise machines that we've got just trying to find something that looks like a password upload Dropbox do I have a login? I do have a login. Hey, complete. Uh, let's have a look at the file system here. Drop server message. I uh, don't want the server message, of course. Anything in the uploads, file sanitizers, where are you? All the all the hackers read. What's a file sanitizer again? So I found this random bit of text file here that's got just just that in it. Where, where, where's it gone? It was um, these. Now, I, I can't think that those are going to actually be passwords, right? They, they, just, they can't be the, that. Really? I mean, we'll try it. They, they are literally just... Do we want to try Hunter 2? I mean, surely that's not a password that's happened right here, right? That, that can't be a thing. Um... Okay, so there's a, there's a few things we can check from Bitwise Drop File Server, but I just don't think that's going to be the one we want. Uh, let's have a look in here. Can we go in here? Past Tenzen. Oh, we, we've been in here. When, when, when did we get that? Uh, okay, view the file system in here. Is there anything useful? Ah, so that's this place. So we've, we've been here before, right? This, this is where we literally just got the file from. Um, RM star, just to make sure that we're not... Bum, bum, bum. Not being traced. Let's try the test PC, of course. View the file systems. See if there's anything in here. Uh, LEX servers. Oh, that's an X, uh, X server guide. So I'm back home, and we're going to try a few passwords that we found. Uh, is that the only one we got? I can't scroll up and down here. That's, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm not going to know if any of these are what we're looking for. Uh, so that's not right. So let's try this again, but uh, this time with QWERTY up. No, that one's also wrong. And there was one final thing we found in the text file, which was that one. Uh, I just don't feel any of these are going to do it. No. Okay, should we try the Tenzen or that password anyway? Um, I think there's no reason why not, right? So I'm looking at my list of softwares here, and of course we can do um, a head decryption. So let's try that. Let's go back up to the file here. Deck head... Uh, what is the one? HN repo. Let's follow this through. Let's see. Let's see what the header's got inside of it. I, I, I forgot that this was a thing we could do with deck files. Um, there we go. We've got a source. Okay. Uh, let's try following this through. Connect one five six dot one five one. I mean, it's an NTEC thing again. Uh, of course it's an NTEC thing again because we uh, we know that bit is working with NTEC or bit were. Invalidity, what? Invidability? Individability? I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's probe the system. Uh, what's going to happen? What? Open ports required for crack. Well, we found ourselves an IP address, and this is something that we're supposed to be looking for. Sorry, I sat miles away from my microphone for that. So we, uh, we yeah, we cracked this open. They did ask just for us to send the IP address forward, right? Look at this. Not all those nines. I think we're going to leave this alone for now. I think we are going to leave. We're going to go back to the uh, to the file. Hey, you, dude. Um, let, let's reply to this. I would like to send some details. The details I would like to send is the IP address. 159.151.5. Five nine dot 
three five let's see if we send that what it says message incomplete that's not a message incomplete return to inbox let's have a look in here uh let me know if you find anything send over the ip address of anything strange if you dig up a link reply i hmm what that that was this right one five nine one five six ah ah ha, ha. one five six my dyslexia strikes again three five okay we send that instead okay brilliant investigation hmm i've been around this for a while but i've never seen anything like this it's about early to call it unbreakable but this is uh new different Entech hurt. They make what a pretty mediocre antivirus. If they were selling whatever this is, they'd make a fortune. Hey, look, their front end stuff doesn't have anything to do with this, uh, anything this fancy. We got to get digging from the web server end and see what the point of this new stuff starts. Uh, see at what point this new stuff starts. It looks like it's deep enough in that they'll be trying to hide it for some reason. No idea why. It looks like there'll be a huge hassle to get past. Companies love that stuff. It's new. It's flashy. It's also suspicious as hell. Take a look at your end and see how far you can get in here. I don't know if it's just me, but this feels like a way better lead than anything else I was hoping for. Ping me back when you think you've seen as much as you can. Be thorough. Well, there it is. Ah, this is the web server. Okay, so this is something different. Uh, let's let's go in here. Hey, Tech N. Uh, we, we, we know what we do here, though, right? We probe. Uh, we, we've done this before. Also... Yeah, no, we do know what we're doing here. There, there's no there's no outrageous security, no firewalls, no uh, probes, no no proxies. That's the one I'm looking for. So let's start running some cracking software and see what we can get. So we've got a trace. That's fine. It, it's not like we are adverse to dealing with traces. In fact, we have a nice new bit of software that can deal with the trace as soon as we run all these cracking softwares, right? Insufficient memory error. Okay, well, let's run the SQL injection overload. Let's, I'm going to try the FTP bounce this time. Uh, can we run this at the same time? We can! Alright! Cool. SMT is going to be the port overflow 25 as soon as these are all ready to run. Can I run that on there? I can. Okay, I'm also going to get the port hack ready as per standard operating procedure. Just still waiting for this to, to work nicely. Okay, you in? You good? I think we're good. I think we're good. I, I can now run a trace kill, right? Trace kill. Uh, as soon as that fills up, boom. Insu don't give me an insufficient memory. We've got a password here. There we go. All right, exit web view. Thanks very much. Uh, let's have a look in the file system and see what we can do here. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back. What's this? Oh, this is the web view. Oh, we don't want the web view. Uh, no trace is being run. Well, the trace is being run, but it's not going anywhere. So that's pretty good. Let's look in the file system. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is get rid of any sort of indication that we have been here at all. Um, we're going to do the same again after we've left, obviously. Uh, we don't want that uh, default boot module, nothing in the bin, nothing in the home. What have we got in here? IRC logs. Oh, man, I was opening a Coke, right? What what type of Coke, huh? Uh, and it exploded almost all over my keyboard, but, it just got, but I got it away just in time. Wow, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. The problem with, the American stupi uh, with America is stupidity. Uh, I'm not saying there shouldn't be a capital punishment for stupidity, but why don't we just take the safety labels of everything and let the problem solve itself? Crazy that people think that's the way we can do things. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be digging up here, though. Um, none of these help. We've got, we've got some nice logs, bin, sys, web. I'm not sure what it is we're supposed to be finding here. It told me to go dig, just in case. But I'm not finding anything. I mean, are, are we supposed to do something with this? Cloakedwear.com. I mean, can we can we even search that? Up? Oh, hang on, that scam. That's a thing that will. Look, there it is. Do, do you see all this stuff just open? Entech. So we're. Is this a proxy node to do with this one? It's really hard to tell. Can I zoom in at all? No, we're we're just looking here. Okay, so we are here right now. There's this one, the mail server, and Entech Zeus. Hey. Ntex Zeus. Let's go to the logs. Let's delete everything here. RM star. Okay, so there's, that should now not have left the trace of me anywhere. We're going to probe up and see what we got. It's one of these. That's interesting. Okay, so instead of there, let's go to the, the, the web server, shall we? Okay, uh, can we log in? Ah, oh, we, we had someone's name, didn't we? We did have someone's name back here, the web server. Uh, so let's, let's escape. It's not, it's not going to be EA admin, is it? EA admin. Password. 
tens eighty six. But I just I got a feeling this is it was the wrong server, right? It's the wrong server. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go back to this web server. Exit web view. Oh, we're still allowed in, right? Files. No, I, I didn't want the probe. Th thanks, though. I mean, I know that is what I clicked on. Uh, the web is not it. Do you reckon we've got default boot module dot text entech dot com? Is that where we're at? Entech. Yeah, this is the entech web server, so it must be this. So I'm going to take this guy's file name here. I'm, I'm not sure if it's sort of the thing we can do. Mbeef pile. Mbeef pile, hey, that's nice. Um, at cloaks. Okay, so we, we've taken his name. No password at the moment, but that should give us a login of some description. Maybe maybe what we wanted to have done. I've, I've come along here, I've gone log. What we actually wanted to do was probe, of course. I mean, because that's how we get through any... Oh. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Let's go see what he reckons we can do here. Especially, uh, take a look at your own, see if I can get in here. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like a way better lead than anything else. Hope. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, there's not really much going on here. We've, got, we've come in here. We've had a look through. Can we go to ntech.com? That is literally the front page. Let's look at the source, see if anything is hidden in here. So being the HTML genius that I am, I can't see anything here that will give us any sort of information on what we, how we can break into stuff. I don't know what this w3.org is, um, but yeah, other than that, I don't, I literally don't see anything to aid us here. I don't know why it wants us to keep looking here. I'm not sure what we're, what we're going to find. So if we go to the mail server and we go username beef pile. Uh, and what do you reckon his password's gonna be? I don't know, I'm gonna leave it blank. No, okay. I j I'm really just not sure where we're going here. Doesn't look like there's something that I can just crack from, from the outside. Uh, so let, let's... What happens if we analyze, just repeatedly analyze? We should be able to get like a solution here, hopefully. Uh, I would also like to overload here if we can. Uh, so we should be able to get past these. I'm, I'm just gonna try, I'm just gonna try. Like the web server is definitely the place we wanna try and get in here, right? Solve um, TA2 W for P, right? Is that is that the solve? solve? Solve successful. Okay, cool. That that was good. The proxy is just about to get done as well. Okay, HTTP. No, no, no. That's that's not it. What is it? It's a web server where AT and file transfer protocol bounce number twenty one. Okay, let's see if we can get an SSH crack secure shell. Um. Gotta wait, gotta wait. I think yes, we still we still need to wait. That's fine. I mean, thankfully the trace isn't counting down that quick, so we can just run each bit of individual software like this. I'm I'm hoping. I'm hoping so anyway. 25. That should have got us that. The SQL is the one that does take up all the software, uh, all the memory <laughs> the software. It takes all the software, man. Uh, like why why are you not with that? Uh, is that not what we just did? Ah, SQL. Okay. okay, I get it. I get it. I see what's going on. Port hack. Okay. Let's turn my caps locks off as well. That that might help. Uh, so we've solved literally everything here. Um, let's try port hack. No, I didn't think so. Okay, additional ports required on this machine. So even if we go through and try and get everything cracked wide open, we can't get in like this. Okay, that's fine. It's not fine, it's actually really, really bad. But that's kind of going to have to do. DC, okay. Hmm. So can we scan from other places? Is there going to be other stuff? This is the question. Uh, required admin access. Okay, maybe maybe that's not a thing we can do. What about this proxy node? Was this actually... I can't remember whose this was. View file system logs. I've been here before, wherever it is. Um, oh, this is where I got some stuff. This must have been kidout.txt. Well, you're much better than I thought. I'm legitimately surprised. I wish sarcasm. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. Um, can we find anything decent? Thanks to the caps key. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice. That's exactly what we want. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, at this point, I stare at him straight in the eye and say, "See documents." Da da da. Okay, that's good. Um, what about this one? No, we just looked in that one. I don't remember being in here before 
Um, not sure whose place this is. Can someone pick pythons? <laughs> nice, nice, that's, that's very nice. Uh, data, the data doesn't have an extension, so we can't do anything with there. Uh, jokes, jokes, blood. That's that's all we got. Okay, from scanning from this place gave me another another file over here. But like, I know this is nothing to do with what we want. Well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But I've got a feeling this is actually just a little um, little side thing that I found here. I, I don't think this is the thing that I'm aiming for. Though I will tell you what proxy active we can't do stuff okay that's fine uh, i will tell you what i find inside as soon as we get there can i do a trace kill this is the question so whilst i'm cracking the proxy i can run this trace kill that's that's nice would have been nicer if i had more memory to deal with stuff but there we go this is how we're going to do these things nowadays okay so that's us in i haven't even cracked the last last port there and we are good uh let's let's try and find that trace kill so when we're in we can just be like uh no if if you don't mind uh password found thing wants to disappear okay there we go let's just spend the trace here uh let's view the file system before we do anything let's get rid of the logs standard operating procedure of course i'm just not sure if we're going to find anything useful here well, someone seems to be uh, involved in something pretty pretty nasty over here. Uh, I'm not really si ah, ah, someone stole my uh, X surfer thing. Oh, is this is this maybe who managed to hack me? That that would make some sense. That would make some sense. Uh, it would really make me happy if I was uh, to delete his X slash server dot sys. Um, there we go. That would make me very happy, actually. That was a nice little side side note here. Uh, what's this? Congratulations, you've been formally accepted to enrol the Royal Military Intelligence Commission. We are thrilled that you have chosen our prestigious institution to continue your academic endeavours. This is nice. I look forward to seeing me when the semester begins. Uh, the donation was greatly appreciated. No passwords, though. No passwords. Uh, do I just delete everything? <laughs> that <laughs> that's that's my fire right there let's uh let's get rid of that no square bracket let's just let's just delete that so he doesn't even know that i was here um back to the logs and rm star oh that well that was a fun little excursion for those of you that remember when i got shut down uh okay but that's not what we're after okay that, that's an interesting thing that they they exist there but i'm still at a loss about what to do here Ah, oh, I've just noticed something. When we scan, look, look, there's another one up here. Workstation core. Ah, I didn't even see that. Okay, so let's probe this bad boy up. Ah, I was, I was just trying to go through stuff going like, why, why is this not, not doing what I thought it was going to do? And it turns out it's because I hadn't quite paid attention close enough. That's fine, though. That is fine. We're going to run another port hack as soon as this SQL dump finishes up here this might take a, a second or two man there was, there was a lot of going back and forth during this episode uh, this episode this this mission whatever it is that i'm actually doing right here okay so this is good uh, let's do a trace kill because wow um because wow whoa whoa i got close Let's be this file system, shall we? Uh, RM star. Wow, that was that was super close. Uh, what have we got here? New folders. Anything useful in here? Well, that's a lot of reasons. I mean, Rose is only like um, no. So I'm finding out that I've got absolutely no reason for coming through these IRC logs most of the time, and there's nothing here. Is there actually nothing here? Like, honestly, uh, what happens if I scan from? Oh man, one, two, three, four, five different places to go through. That, that was just the five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's start here and work our way around, right? So let, let, first off, we're at the logs. Okay, so don't worry, nothing's in there. Okay, let's try this one down here first. What are we going to find? I don't know. We're gonna, uh, Invalid. Oh, no, okay, we can't get in that one. What about this one? No. This one? Are they, are they all going to be locked up tight? Ah, ah, this one's not locked up tight. Okay, that's good. Uh, what can we do here? Proxy and firewall. So we're going to have to start with the proxy. Um, yeah, okay, that's that's a little that's a little thing, isn't it? Well, we found out that we could trace kill whilst we're doing the proxy. Can I analyze whilst we're also doing that? Yes, we can. 
Oh, this is... Oh, okay. So we can crack these first two without having to uh, worry about memory. That's nice. I like that a lot, actually. Like, like a lot, a lot. Got to try and remember that. Okay, so here's the last analysis. So we now need to solve LP... <coughs> excuse me. LP... Uh, okay. I, I'm sure glad none of these include a zero at any point i mean could you imagine if it now goes no nope, that's not right and you gotta go through and guess which one has the zero in it i mean that would be painful uh so we now want to do the web server worm 80 now it's going to tell me insufficient memory so let's close that and go <coughs> okay that's that done ssh uh 22 we can get that running as well and we did do the medical services but what what were we calling it ah oh, um it wasn't med was it Oh man, I can't remember what the name of the pot the the, the file is. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to DC. Gonna have to DC over here. Uh, view file system. I should really write down all the different bits of software that I can use. It's not the sequence of the theme chain. Is the KBT port test was that was that the one that I think it was? I think that's the one. Okay, let's come in here. Probe system. We still got all of this. Mm, that's not very nice. Okay, so somewhere up here, I should just be able to solve for that, right? Okay, solve successful. We can do this and a trace kill. Okay, now it's a uh, KBT was proprietary software that we need to use to crack this open. Just got to wait for this file, uh, this proxy to be detected though. It's gonna take us take a second. Okay, with that done, ready to exit that and run this one. Don't give me an insufficient memory. Okay, so now that that is all overloading, we can get the others running again as well. I'm not sure how much memory we have. Just enough to squeeze that in. Just enough. Oh, that's that is awesome. 22. And as soon as soon as they're all done, we will make sure these can run nicely so i wonder how why out of all the workstations this is the only one that's not protected with that ultra good software that they've got i mean i assume there is a a, a reason a story reason people would have thought about this right i i would have thought about this anyway okay let's let this run through just gotta wait for that memory to die down and then bam in there with the trace kill okay cool port hack oh we can't run a port hack and the trace kill at the same time i really wish i could what happens if we close this and close this? Can we can we do those two at the same time? Uh, port hack. We, no, no, we can't. Ah, uh, that, that's annoying. So I can't even get that running. That that's fine, I suppose. That is fine, I suppose. It will take a little while for us to get through here. Um, now we want to do the trace kill. Just 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 to hold this up for me, if we can. Thirty seconds into it perfect uh so workstation uh, as always rm star those logs let's get rid of all that because we don't need we don't need a record of us breaking in there that's just not a thing that needs to happen irc logs um just type slash quit and it will quit them for the irc <laughs> that that is pretty painful right there uh data i, I do enjoy a good data dump but that's not what we're after um uh, well okay something about sisters that that's fine i'm just gonna, just gonna kind of cruise over most of the things that don't look right uh at least i can use the return clickety click um okay I, I, I don't know what that's about i was trying trying to read that without reading out anything inappropriate uh that's the problem with this game full of in inappropriate stuff What's Prometheus.txt? Well, that looks like a password if ever I've seen one. Um, how do I add a note? Um, there was a, like a get string thing, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a uh, get string. No, get string. No. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have to go and open this up again, aren't I? That that's unfortunate. Can we uh, CSP? No, SCP. SCP. Uh, Prometheus.txt. Let's just send that home. That could be a thing. Uh, Medstream ref. As per our talkies, I've written permission to keep on stream on your desktop open. If we 
as we discussed, save a copy of this locally to show anyone that questions you on it. If they don't believe you, send it to me. Yeah. To others reading it, the operator of Workstation 08, Mr. Dry, is a serious heart condition. The software to help him monitor it streams data to his workstation, which we've assisted him to set up. And he can keep track of his condition in case of an emergency. Okay, cool. We've gone to the exceptional efforts to help Mr. Janari to find a place here as part of our new workplace division diversion diversity plan. <laughs> Further issues with his setup can be directed to me personally. Okay, that's that's not. Nice. Not quite what we're going for. Hack net net. Hmm. Do we want this? I don't know. I don't know if we want this. H N O S. Wait. Hack net. You mean the name of the program we're currently in? It's interesting, right? Okay. Um, store serve IP. Prometheus. Storage server IP. In, uh, in progress development project storage. I want this, I want this, I want this. Um, let's go SCP uh, store, that one, I want those. Uh, asset packs, any any point of asset packs? No, I suppose not. And that's the password to get into the Prometheus. Okay, let's scan it up, let's see what else we got. No, nothing, no, but we did literally just get a thing here, right? Uh, Romulus deployment compile server also deployment build and upload in progress development project storage okay let's try connect um, 156 uh, wait first before we do any of this uh, well, I mean we've got this file on our computer now right we've got this file on the computer so I should be able to just get rid of all this and then leave and not have to worry about it I, I suppose that would be the uh, the best way of doing this this is um this is quite a mission this is quite a mission dc let's disconnect out bam okay let's go home let's go home view file system what have we got here first off let's get rid of all that okay so i'm back i'm in my own pc looking at this so let's go connect 156.151.1.1 this this seems familiar 156.151.59.282 So that's on the same system as the Entex servers. There was another one somewhere, wasn't there? Where was it? That's the the gauntlet. I can't remember where. Okay, let's just connect to that. Let's see what we've got. Hey, ah, uh, in yeah, how do we log in? My, what's my name? We got the password. Ah, uh, ah, uh, we didn't grab Mr. Janari's name. Okay, so let's go back to that server. What is it? Workstation 8. Um, log in. We don't... Am I going to have to probe this place again? Oh, man. Really? Oh, okay. Fine. Okay, so we're in on the trace kill again, and we're just looking for uh, someone's name. Where, where was it? Where was it? Okay, so looking through, I found absolutely zero... Um, Zero usernames. We've got this Prometheus.txt, so well, we did get that. Uh, also in here, there's the Romulus server, so maybe we want to try that. I'm once again, obviously, going to delete all logs, RM star, but hopefully once we go back home, we should be able to go to the other place. Man, this is taking just a little bit longer than I would typically like to delete all these files. Okay, that looks like everything, so let's go home. View the file system again, .sys, .bin, .log. I don't, I know there's one here somewhere that I want. This is the one. Okay, so let's go to the Romulus. Connect 151. No, 156.151.1.12. Let's have a look in here. Now, this is the same sort of thing. Let's have a look. Login, no probe system. Let's have a look. Obviously, I, we can't hack into this. So, what was the Prometheus one again? Let's, um. Let's try some stuff. View file system. I want to open my notes again. How do I, how do I go about opening my notes back up? I know, I know that was a, a thing I could do. Home notes.txt. No. How did I do it again? There was a way of opening this up. Okay, notes at the bottom there. That That's nice. We're going to add a note. I'm going to... In fact, we're not going to add a note. How do I cancel this? Um, enter. Uh, we are going to go into the Prometheus bit. I'm going to... Ah, it's stored it there. Does it stay still or in there when I come out? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So, connect 
I remember that off the top of my head. That's painful. Okay, so there's something we haven't tried. We haven't tried admin login, right? Admin, uh, and the password is... D88... Oh, am, I, am I typing this right? Who knows? D A A V capital A N N X. Ah! Oh, thank. Oh, thank the maker. Scan. Uh, the mail server. We, we found the mail server before. That's that's fine. Complete. What do we get here? View file system. Lock. Ooh, hey. It, it did a thing! It did a thing! RM star, let's get rid of all that stuff. I don't know why it's done a thing, but let's uh, have a look through. What's in the store? Hacknet project. Uh, wow. How, uh, um, insecure. Uh, this. Envoyability project is an OS level security layer through which all authentication attempts and admin command passwords that provides a uniquely protective level of security for systems against all conventional and many unconventional penetration and security breaching methods. It aims to be completely transparent to end users except in the case of emergency updates which are maintained by end uh -huh, and provided absolute security so yeah paired with hack the Hacknet project, which seeks to demonstrate the flaws in our current security systems, NSEC shows clearly why it should and will be the new accepted minimum standard of true digital. Th well, that's very nice, but that's that's just a sales pitch, right? Um, can't really do much with the DLLs. I'm, I'm really not sure. Um, connect dot doc. Um, Command connect for use as a wrapper over remote connected channels, usually SSH, to combine connection methods to external servers. This command should scan available ports and supported services to find a valid connection method and then use it wrapping output. To emulate a standard standardized connection, in effect, Hacknet's connection method should appear to be universal standardization, while beneath it is capable of using all common and uncommon methods. And so it sounds like this is what we want, right? How do, how do we grab it? I, I'm, I'm going to get SCP Hacknet like that. that. That's what we want, right? Hacknet project contacts. Hi. Given the sensitive nature of the Hacknet project, uh, should go through here. This will send out all valid personnel. Some of whom. Oh, okay. Let's um, let's also get that, shall we? SCP Hacknet uh, project. That one. Okay. That that would be nice. That would be nice. Sync devices. The mobile wireless devices to use and test it. Okay, I I'm not, I think we can get back here. Where where are we currently connected to? This one, En Prometheus. We know what the password is. We know how to get back. Let's see what's going on. Propagation. Are you seeing this network? That's the new security scattered about on almost everything, but I'm picking my way through it and there are still a few holes, but progress is slow. I've attached the IP of what we're looking into now. From the side I'm coming at, and from, I can't see any cracks in it yet. Are you having any luck? If you find the admin pass, reply to this email with it. Uh, I get the feeling that serve, the server's the key to where Bit fits into all this. Uh, the talk of this Hackneck project showing up is kind of worrying. Have you ever heard of that? A whole OS rewrite. Re <laughs> re you can look at that later. For now, see if you can find a way into this relay. We'll be working out the next steps after that. I'll probably look around the, produ uh, the production and store servers, Prometheus and Romulus. It might be a way through there. Okay. See this here? Let's go and do that, shall we? Um, probe system. Oh, wait, no, we can't, um, connect, connect where, uh, connect 22, could not find computer at 22, okay, what about, oh, wait, this one, ah, wait, no, connect is not, what, what is, what, what was it, what was the wordage, what was the wordage of our food file system, let's come in here, uh, no, not that, not that one. Um, oh, I, we've not got everything that I want. Ah! Okay, I am going to delete all the files, and I think I'm going to take a break here, guys, because I've been doing this for over an hour now, and I'm not sure how much video we're going to have at the end of it.